time for Donkey of the Day. Donkey of the Day, ask Charlemagne. I'm a Democrat, so being Donkey of the Day is a little bit of a mixed place. So like a donkey. Yeehaw, okay. Donkey of the Day. <laughs> the Breakfast Club, bitches. Now, I've been called a lot in my 23 years, but Donkey of the Day is a new one. Yes, Donkey of the Day for Friday, February 2nd, second day of Black History Month goes to a former... Where the music at, Eddie? Okay. Okay, now we talking. Go to a former Target worker from Virginia named Bazin Bear. I think that's his name. Uh, who has been sentenced to a whole century in prison. A hundred years. I have no idea why judges be playing with people like that. Like, what is the point? Just sentence me to forever, okay? <laughs> just sentence, sentence me to for all of eternity. Matter of fact, just let me ask the judge a question. Judge, am I ever getting out? And the judge can simply say no, period, okay? Anything sounds better than a hundred years. My brain can't even process that. If a judge gives you 100 years, you should automatically be granted permission to run and swan dive over the desk at that judge. Okay, that's when you're supposed to make those kinds of leaps. But once again, as I tell y'all every other day, life is about choices. Okay, destiny is not a matter of chance. It's a matter of choice. And Bazin Burr made a very poor choice. Now, today's donkey of the day is a teachable moment because so many people have been faced with the challenge that Bazin was faced with. So many people every day who listen to The Breakfast Club have had to deal with what Bazin has had to deal with, okay? But I bet you handled it better than he did. What are you talking about, Uncle Charlotte? Well, let's go to ABC7, ABC7 News. For, ABC7 News on your side for the report, please. New at four, a judge is sentencing an Alexandria man to 100 years in prison Damn. after he killed his co-worker in a Target parking lot in Bailey's Crossroads. Back in 2021, 25-year-old Bazin Berry killed Hernan Levia. During the trial, prosecutors argued that Berry planned the murder after his co-worker took his lunch from the office fridge. Days later, Barry attacked the victim and stabbed him several times after their work shift. Barry pleaded guilty to first degree murder in October. Lunch, bro. Mm -mm -mm. You killed someone because they stole your lunch out of the fridge at work, because they stole your food out of the refrigerator. I understand sometimes life is about principle. Okay, I get it. He thought you were soft. You had to show him otherwise. But now what? You killed someone over lunch only to go to prison and end up being someone's snack. And you're going to be somebody's snack. Okay, the same way the man you killed ate your lunch, trust and believe, someone is going to eat your ass the exact same way. And you're going to return the favor because what else do you have to do over the next 100 years? And he's only 25. Little young tender. Okay, I'm telling you, people are sick out here. All right, folks need psychiatric help. So many people that are walking amongst us need to be under somebody's care. They need to be medicated. I don't know what this man was dealing with. I don't know what he was going through, but whatever it was, this situation puts them over the edge. Okay, you don't just go zero to 60 over a sandwich. All right, this must have been a meal his grandmother or mother cooked and he bought the leftovers with him to work. This had to be some sort of comfort food. Like this food had to have some sentimental value, okay? It had to be something that this man was looking forward to and you had the audacity to steal it, eat it, and then just, just come back to work like it's all good? Called the man to snap. Okay, I can't believe I have to say this, but I don't care how disgruntled you are. There is not a chicken salad anywhere on this planet that's good enough to take somebody's life and get a century in prison. I don't even know if he was eating chicken salad, but wouldn't it be ironic if he did all of this for a tossed salad only to end up in prison tossing salads for the next 100 years? Listen to me, though, man. It's a lot of things that's interesting to me about this story, but one that stands out. Is he thought about this. When you read the report, he thought about this. It's a premeditated murder. He didn't look in the fridge and see his lunch was stolen. He went home, okay, and said, uh, well, he, he didn't just look in the fridge and see his lunch was stolen and then, you know, um, um, confront the man right there. He went home and said he spent the next few days plotting his revenge. <sighs> Think about that. He went home for three days and plotted his revenge. And this is why things like meditation is so important, uh, breathing exercises, having someone to talk to. You mean to tell me over the course of three days, he couldn't let go of the fact that his tuna sandwich got stolen? His homemade pizza or peanut butter jelly sandwich got took and he couldn't shake that off? This man had severe anger issues that he never got the help for and that is the moral of the story anger resembles fire and like the fire if you keep feeding it it will get stronger and harm you if you stop feeding anger with your attention it will fade away three days this man held this for three days not one of those days did he have lunch 
one lunch after the lunch that got stolen will remind him that lunch goes on. He was moving like he only had one lunch to live. And that's not how lunch works. Listen, we must be willing to let go of the lunch we planned. So as to have the lunch that is waiting for us, not you, Basin, no, no, no. The lunch that is waiting for you right now is two mixed grain sandwiches, one roast beef relish and salad, our tomato, mayo and salad, one egg, mayonnaise and salad, and one serving of fresh fruit. That's what's waiting for you for the next hundred years. Dinner gonna go crazy though. One, maybe two blue vein sausages. Okay. <laughs> that beef whistle you gotta blow on because it may be too hot. Okay. Christ. Yeah, you don't even want to see that custard launcher for dessert. Okay. Please give um, Bazin Bear the biggest hee-haw. Crazy world we living in, y'all. I got to hear both sides. What you mean you got to hear both sides? Got to hear both sides. What's the other side? There's never a reason you to kill a man over getting your lunch stolen at work and then you're doing 100 years? What's the other side? Let's take it out of this situation for a second, right? We got 60 seconds, right? Let's just take it out of this this side for a second. Let's say... What side? Let's just I don't even know what side. You don't it, make no sense. Let's take it away from this situation, right? Mm-hmm. Let's say... My name is Rashawn, right? Your name is Rashawn, you stupid idiot. I'm five foot four, let's say. I'm small. I've been pay- being picked on my whole life. I go to work. I get a sandwich that my mama made me. My only sandwich, because maybe I can't afford it. Right? So this yeah. is my sandwich. Are you trying to justify this man I'm killing somebody? I'm not justifying anything. Would you listen shut- to me? No, we Would don't need listen to, to listen to you. So now- You know what you need to do? Put a meat popsicle in your mouth right now and shut up. <laughs> okay? There's no way you're going to justify I'm not that. justifying, but I'm just saying he, he's been bullied, right? Now this guy takes his sandwich. This guy, I'm not saying this is the situation. This guy picks on Rashawn, takes my Rashawn sandwich. Now I come to work. I see this guy every day. He's laughing at me. I can't beat him physically. So I do something stupid. <sighs> Nick, put your one-eyed yogurt slinger in this guy's <laughs> mouth and <laughs> shut him up. Okay? The hell is he talking about over there? Huh? Jesus Christ, man. Shut up. I don't want to play with nothing one-eyed, all right? Just shut up. Jeez. Yo, All right. slinger. All right. You're disgusting. <laughs> what? You're disgusting. Why am I disgusting? All these terms. You had these terms in the back of your something. No, please. All right. Well, thank you for that. Speaking of back of something, you want, you want me to put my tonsil tickler back? <laughs> see? See? He just mess. He must have a bunch of these. And he's just ready to fire off. Your tonsil tickler? Like, come oh, on. All right. Up. <laughs> this guy here. <laughs> oh, man. Donkey of the Day is sponsored by renowned personal injury attorney Michael the Bull Lamisoff. Don't be a donkey when you need a fighter on your side. If you're ever injured, go to MichaelTheBull.com. That's MichaelTheBull.com. And when you mess with the bull, you get the horns. Wake that ass up. Early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.